So recently, I've had a lot of comments asking how I run the TARDIS rewrites so smoothly. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the most frames per second in your game. You may have noticed that on screen, there are several numbers going up and down very, very quickly. So for this video, we're only going to need to look at the frames per second, or FPS. Now, as you can see, it's running around about 170 on a default map with just a TARDIS spawned in. For the TARDIS, we're going to be using the Capaldi because it has the most high resolution textures and it's basically the most difficult to run. So ideally, our FPS needs to be as high as possible for, most, for the most smooth gameplay. Now, obviously, because we're playing Garry's mod, we're probably going to be playing on a PC or laptop. Now, ideally, we want to be playing on a PC because laptops just tend to struggle depending on your specs. So I'll go through my specs, which are basically enough to run this decently. They'll be in the description. So, first step to making the TARDIS runs a lot smoother is to have it on a big open map which is ha which has a big skybox so the interior doesn't glitch out. You want it to be very simple, you don't want a lot of uh, high performance lighting or anything, you just want a very big, open, simple map because otherwise it, the map will in itself require a lot of performance and a lot of your PC resources. So here we are looking away from the TARDIS and getting around about 200 frames per second which is very high indeed. Although my videos are all up in about 60 frames per second, this is um, basically it. If we go ahead and open the doors, our frame rates drop around to about 70, which is still very smooth. Now as we enter the TARDIS, we're going about, up to a bit about 60 as well, which is all very nice and smooth. As you can see, it's uh, very good. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize the TARDIS, as well as giving graphs and stuff which can help best. If you follow me into the options menu, we can have a look at the graphics settings here in video and then advanced. Now resolution does matter as well. The lower your resolution, the higher your frame rate will be. If you go ahead into advanced, we can see all these settings going on here. Now, all these settings are set to the max and we're getting about 170 frames per second thereabouts. Now, if I'm going to turn all of this down, now anti-aliasing is what makes the edges smooth. Okay, and then we apply that. Now if we go into back into this, we're getting thereabouts the same, but everything looks a lot worse. So about 180 frames per second. If we go in, we're still getting roughly the same frames per second, around 80 to 60. So um, not a massive difference though in changing the graphics, which I was surprised about. Another way in which you can improve frames per second is, as you can see, we're getting about 90 here. If I close the doors, that then shoots up to about 130, so that's awesome. Always fly with the doors closed, I would suggest. Um, although that's not the favourite thing to do, it will improve your frames per second. Another way is also, I've noticed, depending on when you stand, you'll get a different frames, frame rate. So round about, we're getting about 80 here. But if we go on to, onto the bottom, then we get about 60. Over here, then we're getting about yeah 60. Over here, 50, and so on. And about 70, or 120 if we just look at this round or here. So, Gary's mod is a bit of a weird one. The frame rates fluctuate like I've never seen before, so um, that's interesting. So then, into the vortex with you, and actually that is my favourite part. Well, wow, looking at the uh, time rotor animating in the distance, that's pretty cool. But yeah, back to the frame rates. In the vortex with the doors open, averaging around about 60, although that seems to drop to 40 for no apparent reason. Seriously, I don't know why Gary's mod frame rates are like this. Close the door then, we go shooting back up to 160 frames per second. So the vortex is pretty much just overlaid into a map, so it's not too surprising that this happens here. If we're at the doors, we get about 65 to 95. I have no idea why that happens. And if we close the doors, we only get 120, which is surprising when outside we get 160. So, um, although we have got the disappearing here, so I guess that's why. So for my next test, 
because apparently changing the textures doesn't actually boost frame rate that much. We're going to test out changing the resolution. So at the minute I'm playing at 1080p. If we go to the lowest, or well not the lowest, but we go back to 720p, we can see how that changes things. So with the frame rate lowered, we get around about 70 frames per second, which is surprising because I, I would expect the resolution to be lowered, the frame rate to increase, but we're not actually seeing that trend. So that is surprising indeed. But if we go on in uh, and we test out the doors again, we get 50 to 60 or 90. So that's showing a similar trend, but then we close it about 120. So resolution changes doesn't actually make much of a difference. So for more time than I'd care to imagine, I did a test and did a comparison of all the TARDIS rewrites and basically recorded the frame rate at the door. So when I press Alt E to get into the TARDIS, that would be the point at which I would take the frame rate and found that the Rani TARDIS happened to be the most um, f high frame rate of 280 but the lowest FPS came from the 2010 TARDIS, though that, of course, is up to Gary's mod depending on what it's going to show me because it fluctuates so much. So overall, this means that the average frame rate of the TARDIS rewrite on my computer is 133.4 frames per second. So to mix things up a little bit, I went ahead and downloaded one of, if not the most graphics intensive well, games in Gary's mod um, GM Red Keep which has as you can see a lot of reflections but I'm a vampire so I don't reflect and uh, this is just an example compared to GM flat graphs where I was getting around 300 frames per second with nothing on this is only getting around 47 if we open the doors that drops down to around 30 on 20 inside so it's a little bit glitchy as well probably due to um, this map not being ideal for the TARDIS possibly. So then to conclude my video on how to get the best frame rates out of the TARDIS it's best to play on a big open map with simple lighting and a very low resolution textures although they're not too bad. So at least in my benchmarks and PC setup I found that lowering the resolution and lowering the texture quality didn't dramatically affect the frame rates however this may not be the case so I would suggest head over to the options and turn things down additionally you really want to consider maybe if you have them enough money to be purchasing a gaming computer well, with a gaming computer you will have a graphics card most likely it's best to build on yourself I think well you get a graphics card which has video RAM which acts as like a separate processor that basically will handle all the graphics which is hence why I'm able to play the TARDIS rewrite in as uh, nice detail and frame rates as this Ooh, we just closed the doors I forgot I did that basically turn things down and if that does not work try a different map and if all else fails and you really desperately want to play the TARDIS smoothly invest in a gaming computer of course that's the obvious option for everyone but may not be the easiest Another option which you may consider wanting to do is going into the options, TARDIS your right, and then setting the portals to a close distance and then save that. And as you walk away, the frame rates go from when it starts to close 60 to 120 or 150 when you open them. So that will also improve frame rates as well. You also may just want to play on other TARDISes with less high resolution graphics, which are easier to run. So then, this was my video on how you can optimize and improve your gameplay experience with the TARDIS Rewrite and boost your frames per second. So um, I really hope you found it useful and able to get that most out of the game, Garry's mod, with this TARDIS. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Today, Septix turned two years old and in that time my videos have been seen nearly 700,000 times and people have watched them for a total of 21,033 hours which is really crazy so let's hope the next two years are great and the other day you wouldn't believe it but Gary Newman who created Gary's mod retweeted me which I thought was quite cool but I'm not sure if anyone else does so I thought it was cool so I put it in my video you know
make sure you join my Discord server where you'll be able to chat to other people in the community, see what's going on, even some developers are there. That will be exciting and you can also help each other with optimizing frame rates too. So feel free to join, link in the description.